Hey, everybody, it's three guys with three things, and Mike, you are up. Well, Larry, we continue to hear how the Packers have a lot to clean up about their game. And as they head off to London this week to face a 3-1 and one New York Giants team, if there's one thing at the top of the clean it up list, I think it's the turnovers. The Packers have had a turnover in every game this season, and that streak of four is double the longest streak of turnovers in the Matt LaFleur era. They have seven so far this season. The most in a LaFleur season is 13. They're already more than halfway to that number after just four games. That's where the Packers want to shore things up. Wes, have at it. Finally, the Green Bay Packers are going to London, the 15 years of the International Series. Green Bay was the only team that hasn't traveled there yet, and it was kind of interesting talking to some of these guys about it. Very few guys on this team have done it, have played in that game. Pat O'Donnell was one of them. He mentioned a lot like Matt LaFleur said, a lot of it comes down to schedule and making sure that when that game time comes on Sunday, you are rip-roaring and ready to go. And that's going to be what Matt LaFleur is trying to accomplish. This team is leaving on Thursday. The rest of it, they're playing close to the vest as far as how they're going to handle this thing. But the goal being that once that game time starts, the Green Bay Packers are ready to play overseas. Guys, the Patriots rushed for 167 yards. Probably not Quay Walker's best game. Not a lot of Packers' best games. However, watching the tape of that game, I'm more convinced than ever that Quay Walker is going to be a very special football player. I watched him take things he was being coached to do on the practice field and incorporate them into his game. I watched his play speed. At times, it jumps off the tape. I'm more convinced than ever that Quay Walker is going to be one special Green Bay Packer. And that is three guys with three things. See you next time.